right? We were both competing with runners at markets, and his runner was at the restroom when he gave out an order. And so happened my runner, who I give the order to anyway, knowing I'll never get these games, came back with a full unit bet on, on USC plus seven and a half. And, you know, I said, how did you get this game? And he said, I don't know. Was I not supposed to? And I go, yeah, I thought Billy bet this. Now I'm a little worried that Billy didn't bet this because there's no way my runner could have bet this without Billy's runner beating him to it. He's the originator. So uh, I get a call. My phone rings and it's Billy Walters. Hi, Dink. It's Billy Walters. I go, really? How did you get my number? Never mind that, but uh, your fella at the MGM, how did you know he's my fella? Got my game. That's my guy's game. And I go, what do you mean it's your guy's game? Well, I was supposed to bet it, but he was in the bathroom. I go, okay, what do you, I'm sorry, I got lucky, I got the bet. You bet it in 37,000 37, other places, I'm sure. You know, what do you need, what, what do you want? I want you to give back that ticket. I go, I don't think so. I'm sorry, I don't think that's fair. I mean, I just randomly got your game. Uh, you know, I don't think I should give it back. Okay, and he hung up the phone. I guess he just took a shot, but scared the heck out of me that he knew exactly what I was doing and exactly where I was, who was my runner, and how he got my phone number, all those things. And I ended up taking the worst beat on that game because it was the last college football game to ever um, be, lose by more than seven points in overtime. There was a defensive interception that uh, cost me that game. <laughs>